Hello, welcome to Easy English. Today, I want to find out the people of Brighton's favourite food. Let's go. So, can you tell me what your favourite meal is? Uh, my favourite meal would be chilli con carne in enchiladas. Lots of sour cream and cheese on the top. Do you want to go first? Do you have your favourite food in mind? Yeah, well, what I've eaten recently, <laughs> minty lamb sausages. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really specific. <laughs> yeah. What is your favourite food? So my favourite food is Chinese. Okay. Chinese food. And when you say Chinese food, do you, are you making your Chinese food or is it more from a takeaway? Um, either, either. Oh, one. really? Yeah, I like, well, my parents cook. I don't, I'm, I can cook, but not great, but um, yeah. yeah, either or, I don't mind. And is there like a specific thing that you would order from the takeaway menu or that your parents would cook for you? Oh, no, it's always varied. Yeah? Yeah. You don't have like a specific thing, like do you like the satay duck wraps or the spicy beef or something? Or? Yeah, I like sweet chilli beef, the sweet chilli crispy beef, um, or else, sweet and sour chicken. Yeah, the chicken balls. No, I don't like chicken balls. Oh, okay. I don't like chicken balls, but as a dish, yeah. like the curry sort of uh, dish. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, that's good. Um, like the Hong Kong style. Okay. My favourite meal is along a similar theme, and I would probably <laughs> go with the burrito bowl, um, mainly because I like all foods, and it's quite hard to narrow it down, so you can put as many different types as you possibly can <laughs> into one bowl, and okay. lots of flavours. What's your favourite food? Um... I would say I'm quite a fan of like Mexican cuisine. So fajitas, mm. enchiladas, that sort of, yeah. Right. A bit of salsa, yeah. guac and dip, guacamole, there we go. Yeah. I like uh, yeah. Greek food, you like yeah. tapas. You get lots of different types and you can, you know, pick and choose. And how about you? What's what's your favourite dish? Oh, favourite. Well, I like oh. to keep a healthy diet. So yeah. fruit and vegetables and I like cheese. Yeah. Um, flatbread um, type sandwiches. Um, I haven't got anything specific really. I just like to follow a healthy diet as much as I can. Like a platter style thing for you then? I like like buffet style food because I don't like big meals either. So I like to just choose the amount I would like, <laughs> not too much. And sort of assemble your thing yeah. into one. Yeah. Oh, nice. So hold yeah. on, you said cheese fruit and yeah. some sort of fruit on it maybe yeah blueberries strawberries yeah on like a cracker or something yeah or... like, like with yeah. a rye vita or cracker yeah lasagna <laughs> yeah my favorite go time okay and why is that um i i don't know actually i like any pasta though i like spaghetti bolognese it's like the same thing but in like a different form <laughs> it's like my favorite okay and um so you 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 like like Italian food, yeah. then, I guess, right? Pastas and pizzas. Oh yeah, okay. And why is why is that? Have you been to Italy? Is, is, is um, I've of... actually only ever been to Italy once. Went to Sicily, which was the small island. Yeah. But apart from that, I've just always been a pasta lover. If you'd like to support or learn with Easy English, then go to the link below patreoncom videos to become a member for just five dollars a month. You can get learning material for each one of our episodes, including a transcript to help you read along with the episode and a vocabulary list, providing you definitions for the more complicated vocabulary. You can get video downloads with and without subtitles, plus an MP3 file of the entire audio of the episode, all for just $5 a month if you go to patreon.com forward slash easy English videos. So here's a question. Have you or do you plan to go to China? I would. You would? I've got no plans. Yeah. But I would. <laughs> Specifically just so you can get the real authentic food? Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> what is it about minty lamb They uh, are uh, handmade, home, handmade for butcher, local butchers in Eastbourne. Ah. So it's local. Is this yeah. something that you get quite regularly then? Yes. yes. I see. Yeah. What is it about it that you like? Taste. <laughs> really nice, really nice. So there's a running, running theme of Mexico here. So my, my question is, have you been to Mexico? We haven't been to Mexico. It is somewhere we'd both like to go to and we're working on it. <laughs> oh, really? Other members of the family, yeah. You'd really yeah. like to, it's like I'd a thing to go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All sorts of Mexican food, um, just for the colour, the flavour. Um, the beaches. I mean, we'd, yeah, the beaches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was going to yeah. ask, what is the, if you had to describe the main difference between Mexican food and English food, what, what, what would you say the, the contrast is? Mm. Colour. Colour, yeah, colour and and varied flavours. Because mm. as you said, 
English food is quite often thought to be bland and the old roast beef or fish and chips, but it's just the full on colour and and variation in flavour in, mm. in one meal. It's a bit beige, isn't it? It's a bit beige. <laughs> it's a bit beige. And a bit greasy and heavy. I think I think when you've eaten something healthily, you know, or something healthy with sort of bean based and avocado, you feel you feel a bit cleaner after you don't yeah. feel heavy yeah. and so a question for both of you, but we'll start with you first. What um what would you say the main differences between Mexican food and English food? What what is um, the, what's the big contrast? The spice, slightly spice. It's not. I don't like it really spicy, but yeah, I feel like bit of a kick. Bit of a kick to it. Okay. Um, and what about Greek food? What would you say the main differences between Greek food and English typical um, kind of British food? So um, just uh, you know. It's, I don't know. Really. I feel like English food, you get a bigger portion. Yeah. Like, like, whereas it's quite, a bit like, more abroad, picky, like, obviously, it, when like, you have like the tapas style. Yeah. Yeah. And, and just it's quite fresh, isn't it? Greek food. Yeah. And how would you have both of your styles of food? Would you make it yourself, or is it something that you'd order in, or go to a restaurant to have, or um, either make it myself or a restaurant? Yeah, I'd probably yeah. go to a restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. And when you have your lasagna, are you making it or are you ordering no it? No way. I'm never making it. No? <laughs> no, it's either like homemade or I would order it if I was out. I would always order like a pasta lasagna. Okay. But apart from that, I've, I'm not very good at making it. <laughs> and when is the last time you had Chinese food? Oh, um, about a week ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That was made for you or you made or was um, ordered? Yeah, made for me. Okay. And when's the next time you'll have it? Oh, I don't know. Whenever. <laughs> <laughs> whenever I do. <laughs> see enough. what I'll go home to. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you have this meal? Oh, uh, once every three weeks, maybe? You just like the little dishes. The little dishes, yeah. Okay. And why is that? Is it I like the choice, like having lots of different choices. The little finger food. Yeah. Even. And you can share it with the table, like with the table. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's like a social element. Yeah, yeah. definitely. The nice glass of wine. Okay, oh, absolutely. Uh, when did you last have your your different cuisines? Uh, oh, a long well, time ago. Well, I did ago. cook fajitas last week oh, at yeah. home. Not quite the same as having it in a restaurant, but... Yeah, actually, yeah. About yeah. a month ago, I um, yeah also had Mexican food at home. Yeah. I went to a friend's house. She cooked... Fajitas. Fajitas, yeah. yeah. Chips yeah. and dip and... Yeah, yeah. When was the first time you, if you can remember, when you first had these? Uh, well, probably when my mum was alive. Uh, probably I don't know, ten years ago at least. Oh wow, really? Yeah. And do you have them? How often? I've only started having them again recently because we've got new butchers just down here. So local butchers opened up in lockdown. Oh wow! Um, Is this a normal thing you can get in most butchers? You think? Yeah, I, th- I think a, yeah, a lot of decent, reputable butchers will do do them, but this one is a good one. It's all locally sourced meat from the local farms and stuff, so it's, it's nice. Did a burrito bowl or something? Yeah. Uh, is this something that you would make or you'd order in? We would make. The first time we probably had it was in New York, actually, and you could just go and choose from various dishes and add it all into one bowl, and it was like a, it was like a street food. So that kind of fresh street food type vibe yeah and where you live now is uh would you say there's a lot of mexican food available to you not at all no we live in cheshire sort of on the edge of rural cheshire so it's very much traditional british food but if we went into manchester we might find it easier but there's it's not it's not very cool i mean manchester yes is cool but it's not it's, you know the the food types aren't as varied as perhaps some other cities in the country. And when was the last time you had lasagna? Um, <laughs> probably like last week. Sometime oh, really? we've been going out for dinner since restaurants have been open. And that's so, yeah. your go-to. If yeah, you're either spaghetti, spaghetti bolognese, lasagna, or carbonara. Wow, my three top favourites. And do you have plans to go to Italy in the future? Well, I was meant to be going to Italy, so it's been cancelled about three times. But I'm meant to be going to Naples uh, in October this year. Oh, really? It's meant to be. <laughs> nice. That would be and nice. So you can finally live the dream. And yes. Get a... I want the pizza over there, though. I've had pizza. It's meant to be good in Italy. But I will be having my lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's episode. Let me know in the comments below your favourite food. And we'll see you next week. Bye.